All right, so uh, this is going to be my review of the second... I, I thought this was Season 2. I honestly thought they were going to be calling it Season 2. But no, it's just Part 2 of Season 1 of uh, Primal. So I guess we'll just talk, call this Primal Part 2 or Primal Season 1 Part 2. What whatever, I'll fucking figure it out after I do this video. Um, so... Uh, what did I think of this? Now, the second half of this definitely, like, I'm gonna say right out the gate, this definitely takes more of a horror approach, really. Like, a good three of these episodes in a row really do bring up a lot of, like, horror elements. And it's not to say it, it didn't before. Like, there were definitely some very, like, horrific imagery in here, and, uh, horror-based, uh, creatures involved. But really, this one really, like, especially, like, three episodes, the middle three episodes of this five-part story really, and I mean really, ramp up the horror element, uh, especially, uh, especially, like, I, um, the penultimate episode, which came out in the Halloween season, which I really enjoyed, um, but this was a really great continuation of Spear and Fang's story, of doing these one-and-done stories. But I feel like if we get it... I don't know if we're going to be getting a season two. I don't know that right now. I really hope we do. I hope... Um, uh, I'm really praying that fucking... Uh, Adult Swim is like, let's give it another season, please. Because it leaves off on such a cliffhanger. It really... Because now I feel like we're, d we're done with the episodic stuff. I feel like we're done with the episodic, um, storyline of this. And now we're going to be going in, it, when we get, whenever we get a second season, we're going to be moving into more, like, a story arc, because it's very clear at the final episode of, I guess you could say, season one, it very much leaves off on, hey, we're doing more of a story arc, and... I will say that I this is what because um, I've heard for the longest time that uh, Tartakovsky wanted to do a um, Conan the Barbarian show. He really wanted to do a Conan the Barbarian animated show. I'd still love him to do that, but this like especially how this ends and where I think it's going to go. This is going to be the closest he's going to be able to do with Conan the Barbarian. Um, but yeah, so there's the. Uh, the uh, Coven of the Damned. I want to talk about that episode specifically. And there's no real... Like, I'll get to the uh, episode finale, the final episode of this season in a moment. But I really want to talk about, like, my personal favorite of this ep of this season was Coven of the Damned. Because, it, yes, it does deal with magic. Um, it does deal with sorcery. And very, like, primal magic. Very much, like, very primal. Like, again, something you would see in Conan the Barbarian. Um... And you don't, and what I love about this is you don't get to make all the, an, you don't get all the answers right out the gate, or if, if it ever. And I really like it adds to that kind of mystery to what the, uh, you know, to the primordial era of Earth was like. It was like, you don't know all the answers, so, you know, go, you're just gonna have to, you know, make assumptions for the most part. And that's way more scarier than knowing all the answers sometimes. And I feel like this works, especially, again, going back to the, mag, you know, all the magic stuff we talked about in Coven of the Damned, where um, we see these witches getting children from this um, head witch, I guess you could say, and it's it does start out very horror-based, but eventually becomes more, like, just heartbreaking. Like, I um, legit almost cried watching this episode, because it is so, so punch-you-in-the-gut kind of sad, um, dealing with um, seeing more of uh, Fang's children, of seeing when they were hatched, and seeing more time with them. We get to see, you know, Spear when he had his... I think it was his daughter, because I did see a little kid carved on the wall, so I think it was his second-born child. Um, so seeing them together, it was heartbreaking. And then seeing the witch that was watching them have her own kid, and it, uh, it died. It's... It, it was a gut puncher, man. It was a real gut puncher um, at the end. And that's what I like, is that Tartakovsky can really, like, at times... I think we all forget this, that Tartakovsky's known for, like, doing these balls-to-the-wall action sequences. But at the same time, he's really good at telling an emotional story. Sometimes without even the slightest amount of dialogue. That's the best part, is where you get to um, really see him shine in that. You know, playing with all of that. Um... And again, 
the gore in here is oh, is through the roof. Just amazing in here. There's just some amazing kills in here. Um, the episode I'm forgetting. Uh, the night, yeah, the night feeder. I think it's called. Yeah, the night feeder of seeing the them s just slaughtering what I think are supposed to be triceratops. Uh, was wow. It's definitely. It's very. It, it was very just graphic, and I love it. Like. I really hope at some point maybe we can get Spear in Mortal Kombat. Maybe. <laughs> anyway. Um, so Season 2 looks like I said earlier going to be more episodic based. Uh, not episodic based, but more like a uh, conci uh, concise story because now um, we have this girl named Mira. We don't know where she came from, but she is a slave of this Sun Scorpion guy. We don't know who he is, but we know he's, he's, new he's bad news. And it brings up that, yeah... Um, Spear is a Neanderthal, and Mira, the woman he meets, is a Homo sapien. And it's also very clear that there are very evolved people out there, because they're already making ships, they're making iron, they're doing all that, and Spear is just out there left in the dust, and just kind of... Uh, just... Uh, uh, just all of that. And, he, you know, he says his first word for the first time, you know, saying Mira's name... Um, and, uh, again, it looks like we're going to be dealing with that. Um, I'm also wondering how Fang's gonna feel, because Fang was playing up the jealous girlfriend for a while, and I'm hoping when we get to Mira again, um, I'm hoping we don't push Fang out of the way. I'm hoping we, this doesn't become, you know, me, uh, uh, Fang doesn't become a side character in her own show, because, yeah, Fang, despite being a dinosaur, she's, you know, got some character development too, and was one of the major parts of this show. In fact, yeah, Fang, you know, Spear had a whole character arc with her, you know, twice now. So, I feel like if we're going to add Mira to the group, don't undercut Fang. You know, this is supposed to be Fang and Spear's show. I'm not, uh... I'm not saying Mira sucks or whatever, because we don't know any of that character. For all we fucking know, this could be a trap, and Mira is, you know, is some elaborate plot for all we fucking know. It probably won't be, but you never know with, with Tartakovsky. So, that's the big thing right now. Um, so, I'm really hoping we get a season two soon. It'll probably be sometime next year, probably like 2020. Yeah, 2021, probably like October or November. Um, just hoping we get some confirmation soon. As of this recording, I haven't heard anything, so by the time I post this, I'll probably get, like, ten comments saying, Hey, it got renewed for season two, you fucking dumbass! So, yeah. C'est la vie. Anyway, but I really love this show. This shows... Uh, this animated series proves that you can do animated shows. This, Castlevania, and what we've been getting on Netflix, like, with the blood of Zeus, and, um you know, Dragon's Dogma and stuff like that. It proves that we can do adult animated shows and make them, you know, you know, and, and prove that it can be profitable without, you know, fart jokes or shit like that. So, hats off to Tartakovsky. I can't wait for his new, more family-oriented show uh, that's going to be premiering on Cartoon Network show. It very much feels like a Doom... That, I can't remember the name of it, but it, it, I really got some Doom Patrol vibes from it, so I'm really excited for that. But you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of Primal Season 1 Part 2? Or just Primal on a whole? Did you guys like it? Hate it? Um, just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.